Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel to your taste. I hope y'all having an amazing day. Today I'm going to show you a simple recipe for fried potatoes and onions. So in this bowl here I have one large onion that has been sliced and I just did it really thin like this. Also I have four red potatoes that I sliced up two in circles like this then as well and the seasonings you will need is salt onion powder black pepper garlic powder and we're using paprika um for the color you also need some oil but i am using this beef tallow that came from um if i can see that really well that came from the farmers um a farm in gainesville where i get my raw milk y'all Tallow, I use that when I make eggs and those eggs, scrambled eggs, and they come out so flavorful, so good, better than butter. All right, so, but you know, you use any oil that you have on hand. So I have my cast iron skillet heating up with a tablespoon of that tallow, and I'm gonna get started. So let's head over there. Okay, so my skillet is ready, and so are my potatoes. And y'all just want to add to the, the reason why I put my potatoes in salt and water is to prevent them from going brown and also to remove some of the starch off the potatoes so they would not stick to my cast iron skillet. Take some of this water off. And I have, I just moved my skillet down. It's on medium heat. And we're gonna cook these up. Let it get almost done. All right, everyone. So our potatoes been cooking here for about, about six minutes. Now we're gonna add our seasoning to it. This is a um, teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of paprika. Taste it before you add it and see if you don't need to add more to it. You know, I didn't need to add more. I tasted my seasoning and um, that's it. So we're just going to let it cook a few minutes more, let it get a little tender, and then we're going to add in our onions. All right, so now y'all, we're going to add in our sliced onions here. And we're cooking the potatoes until they tender all right that's all you need to do is just cook them until they are just about tender and the reason why i went ahead and, and add my onions towards the end is because i do not want them to burn you know no one wants any burnt onions in their potatoes all right so we're gonna let this finish cooking we just got a little bit more to it and we're gonna serve it up all right everyone so our potatoes are done they are nice and soft for tender and all we got to do is serve this up on our platter or on our serving bowl but yeah this is a really delicious delicious recipe that you should try look at that goes right in all right so let me go grab a serving bowl and then we're in the video all right everyone so we got our fried potatoes and onions look at that not just um, top it off with some fresh parsley. So fresh parsley, look how nice and good they are. They're nice and tender. Look at that, it goes right through, look at that. All right, so I just wanna give you a close up of the fried potatoes and onions. All right, so that's it for the video, y'all. Try out this recipe. All the ingredients will be in the description tab. Very delicious, easy to make. Especially if you're tired of making rice or mashed potatoes or even baked potatoes, try this out. It's good with any type of meat, beef, chicken, catfish like I did once on my catfish video, pork, whatever you want to use it for. Very easy, delicious. Your family will love it. All right. So y'all have an amazing weekend. God bless and be safe. Bye.